What's going on everyone? Chris back with another video. Today we're going to be checking out and installing the Android Q Dev Preview 4 for the OnePlus 7 Pro. Um, so we are going to need a few things first. We need to actually download the uh, zip file to install it. Um, and then if we do want TWRP, um, we're going to need to actually uh, download the unofficial recovery from XDA. I'll leave the links down in the description where you can get those. Um, so right now I do have TWRP installed. Um, I am uh, had Pixel Experience ROM installed prior to this. So you need to go ahead and then copy the uh, Q Dev Preview 4 and your TWRP and official to a thumb drive um, if you want to use TWRP to install this. Otherwise, if you're on Oxygen OS, you can just quickly and easily download your Q beta or QDev preview 4 onto your OnePlus 7 Pro, go to system, update, uh, update, and then basically select local device or local storage to update directly from your phone without having to use TWRP or anything like this. This is coming from a custom ROM, um, so just keep that in mind. So we're going to go ahead and go to install, um, select storage, there it is, and we can see here is the file and it's going to go ahead and install that obviously you need to make sure that you um, factory reset before flashing this just that way you don't run into any sort of issues as well this is going to take a couple minutes and we'll be right back all right so the installation is done now what's going to happen is if you actually flash the newer version of the q beta so let's say uh, we we flash the 3.3.1-2, and then you go and ins try to install the, the dev preview, you're gonna get this error, which is like an error one or maybe error seven. It's gonna fluctuate maybe for you, um, but if that happens, what you have to do is just install the 3.3.1-4 TWRP recovery there and once it's done we'll go ahead and just reboot recovery one more time and so we are still on current slot a uh, we installed the dev preview on current on um, the slot b so we need to go ahead and install it on slot a as well so go ahead and select storage internal and then here we can go ahead and flash that and you see now it's installing successfully. So bear that in mind uh, when you're installing, when you're going from Android Pi to Android Q, use the official TWRP recovery installation. And then once you're on Android Q, you need to then use the unofficial installer then for, an, for a TWRP. So we'll go ahead and install this on slot A like it's already doing. We'll be back in a couple minutes. All right, so we are done. Now what we need to do, go ahead and do is install the, the unofficial TWRP. Otherwise we are gonna be stuck. Um, we're gonna be stuck without TWRP if we restart right now. So we're gonna go ahead and just flash that. The official TWRP recovery does not, can't access internal storage um, when on Android Q. So that's why we're using this one. And so now if we go to reboot, we can go ahead and Check those do not install. Device should then be booting into Dev Preview 4. Now, another thing is since this Dev Preview 4 is, pr I believe, running on an older security patch, depending on which ROM you're running, um, you are going to definitely need to then format your data um, because going back to an older security patch uh, causes issue. Um, so we can see right here our device is booting. And there we have it. We now have Android Q Dev Preview 4 running on our OnePlus 7 Pro coming from a custom ROM and mine the Pixel Experience. It's finally booted up. Let me know in the comments if you guys are wanting to see maybe an overview of the Q beta for OnePlus 7 Pro. Let me know down below. If you guys have any questions or run into any issues, also leave, um, leave any questions or issues down in the comments as well, and I'll do my best to help you out. Um, but remember, if you're coming from a custom ROM with maybe an older security patch or, or 
just on the safe side, just format data. Um, I had to do that myself here um, and installed this. Make sure you are running the official TWRP recovery to flash the Q beta. After you flashed the Q beta, reflash TWRP, reboot back into recovery onto the other slot, reflash Q beta, and then flash the Android Q unofficial TWRP recovery. So that way you can still have your custom recovery afterwards. Thank you all for watching. Hope this was helpful. I'll see you on the next one.